Hello, we are Team 3701G. We are here to talk a little bit about how we can use robots to grow plants. Let's say we have a small piece of land to grow plants, either in our backyard or in a community garden, but we don't know how to start. What if we have a robot that can talk to different environmental sensors? Then we can collect data over time and use that data to help us make some decisions regarding the plants. Our hypothesis is that robots will help improve plant health and growth. For example, researchers have developed a robot, Mamia, which has GPS and cameras to track plant growth in large farms, which is showing good results. Why should we do this? Some of the advantages are producing cheap, healthy food free of harmful chemicals. Also, it can help in collecting data. Who can benefit? Schools and universities that teach agriculture, families and community gardens. So first, let's see what plants need to grow. Plants open their leaves to soak up the sun. If they get too much sun, then they might get dehydrated and not grow well. Plants need water to absorb nutrients from the soil. pH determines if the soil is acidic, basic, or neutral. If the soil is the wrong pH, it cannot absorb properly into the plant. Different plants need different levels of water, sunlight, and pH, as shown on the table. With this information, our robot can help us decide which plants to grow and where. Great, now we know what sensors to use, but what is a sensor? A sensor is something that can measure different properties of the physical environment, like temperature, pressure, etc. Here is an example of the three types of sensors we need. The light sensor measures the brightness or the intensity of light in lux. The conductivity of the soil inc increases when it is wet. The output of the soil moisture sensor is low for drier soil. An acidic solution has far more positively charged ions in it than a basic one. So, it has greater electric potential to generate current. A pH meter measures the electric potential or voltage of the soil, compares it with a neutral reference solution, and calculates the pH. Higher voltage means lower pH. We can also measure types of toxins found in soil, but it has to be sent to a lab first. The toxins include metals and metalloids like nickel, lead, mercury, and arsenic. Pesticides and herbicides like Roundup, Paraquat, and 2,4-D amine. Other types of toxins found in soil are polyaromatic hydrocarbons are produced by burning oil and coal, and polyfluoroalkyl substances are found in cleaning products, fabrics, teflon, and firefighting films. Why are these toxins bad? These toxins are bad because they could cause cancer, such as leukemia, brain damage, and Parkinson's disease. Conclusions. Many companies and universities are developing robots to improve farming. Robots that can use sensors to collect data can help determine which plants to grow and where. These robots can be used for large farms or small gardens. In the future, GPS and computer programs that can learn could provide even more advanced farming.